another episode of Storytime. Today we have a very special guest with us. This is Frida, and Frida is one of our red-tailed hawks here at the Utica Zoo. Um, now Frida may look a little bit different right now, but that's the reason why I brought her out today, because as you know, the weather is starting to get a little bit colder here in upstate New York, and animals are pretty attuned to this as well. And as it gets colder here, animals start to go through some changes and start to do a couple things. Um, some animals will get ready for hibernation or estivation. Um, some animals like Frida um, start to shed or molt their feathers or fur in order to grow in brand new fur or feathers for the winter to help them stay warm. Now, red-tailed hawks like Frida are a type of bird that will stay around all year round. So they don't migrate, they don't hibernate, they kind of just survive and learn how to adapt living here in upstate New York. And that's kind of what they do. Um, Frida here is also a very special bird because she has been living here at the Utica Zoo since the 1990s. We estimate that she is probably somewhere around or over 25 years old. And we have her here at the Utica Zoo because she is a rescue from the wild. Unfortunately, she was injured and um, as a result can no longer fly. So she's been living here at the zoo um, since she was very young and she will live here for um, her whole life so that we can properly care for her since she would not be able to survive in the wild. Um, and I have her out today to introduce our story, which is Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. Perfect for a really cold fall day. The world was changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounded out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold, and the soft, swishing sound of summer was fading to a crinkly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree looked dull, dry, and brown. Fletcher was beginning to get worried. I think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it? His mother asked. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. Don't worry, it's only autumn, she said. Fletcher ran back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll be feeling better soon. But the tree didn't get better. Each day, more leaves turned brown. One morning, the wind blew a small brown leaf off of a branch. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently in his paw. worry tree I got your leaf I'll fix you Fletcher looked around picked a piece of grass and carefully tied the leaf to a branch just then another gust of wind ruffled Fletcher's fur the little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground Fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard then he poked the leaf onto a twig and pushed it down firmly now you hold on tight said Fletcher no more flying around the little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. <clears throat> the next day, a strong wind was blowing through the forest. Fletcher rushed out of the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of branches were bare and little lost leaves spun everywhere. Don't worry, tree, I'll catch them for you, I promise. Round and round and round whirled Fletcher after the swirling leaves. Leaves! Wonderful! Just what I need for my nest, said a squirrel. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher. Don't take them away. The tree doesn't need them anymore, said the squirrel, bounding off. The wind and the squirrel are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Leaves? Terrific! Just what I need to keep warm, said a porcupine rolling around. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher, plucking leaves from the porcupine's needles. Not anymore, snuffled the porcupine, and away he rolled. Help! Help! The wind, the squirrel, and the porcupine are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Suddenly, a flock of friendly birds swooped down from the sky. They picked up the leaves in their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon, the tree was leafy again, 
and Fletcher flopped down and smiled. Thank you, birds, thank you, he gasped as the birds fluttered away. He lay looking up through the leaves at the sky and drifted off to sleep. But the wind continued to blow and the branches still danced. The leaves shivered and shook themselves and began to wriggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fletcher's ears and nose and filled his dreams with a whispering sound. When Fletcher finally woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, all he could see were bare branches against the sky. Oh tree, I am so sorry, gulped Fletcher. All your leaves are gone. But then he saw high in the branches, one small leaf still holding on. I won't let the wind steal that one, said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He crawled along to the last leaf and held it firmly onto its branch. All day long, the wind blew, the branch bounced, and Fletcher held tight. I'll stay with you, Leaf, he said. Don't worry. But then, with a sudden whoosh of wind, the branch bounced high. With a plip, the leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf he had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and back to the den. He made a cozy little bed for it and gently tucked it in, but all night long, he could only think of his tree all on its own. At dawn, Fletcher tiptoed outside. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was cold. The moon still hung in the, the clear sky and pale stars glimmered. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. The tree was hung with a thousand icicles, shining silver in the early light. You are more beautiful than ever, whispered Fletcher. But are you all right? A tiny breeze shivered through the branches, making a sound like laughter and in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Fletcher gave his tree a hug, then he went back to the den for a nice warm breakfast. The end. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our story time today. Be sure to check out our Facebook and our new, brand new website um, to check out our upcoming dates for our spectacular event here at the Utica Zoo happening in October and our Spirits on Safari event also happening this October too. See you soon. Bye.